Good morning and welcome back to your Delta News on Fox. We are currently taking a live look outside. We are facing west of Highway 82 near Dunleith Road. It is foggy out that way, so if you are traveling, do be cautious. Also, school buses, well, they're not out anymore, but do be out on the lookout for that on today. Karen, back to school already. Can you tell the people about the forecast? <laughs> Well, right now in that weather forecast and in the headlines, we have hot for most days. That humidity will be in, in effect for the whole rest of the week. And then we have scattered showers that will be also the theme of the week. So that's what we have right now. Now looking at the satellite radar here, we have a dense fog advisory and that will be in effect until 9 a.m. So again, you want to be very cautious when you go out and about today. You got the added mix of the kids, which should be at school right now, and the buses. You have to really take it easy. Now looking ahead at that school day forecast, Boy, I had to dust that off today. I was like, wow, already? I couldn't believe it. Patchy morning fog by 7 a.m., 75 degrees. Then by 3 p.m., we'll have partly sunny skies. But we can't rule out a shower or a thunderstorm later on with the highs being 91 by at least 5 p.m. Now, right now, Greenwood, good morning. You're at 69 degrees and all is calm out there. That dew point is at 67 degrees, that humidity 93% and the heat index at 64. So it is a bit sticky out there. Greenville, good morning to you. 73 with a south wind, three miles per hour, 71 degrees, humidity at 94% and that heat 70 degrees. So that's what it feels like already. And we look at some more dew points around the area, 68 down in Jackson, 71 in Vicksburg, and 70 in Monticello. Wind speeds, that's why it's kind of foggy out there. We have nothing to really stir that wind around. So again, it's only about three miles per hour. So it's going to be a little bit before things kind of clear off. Now looking at your visibility, you're at zero for Greenville, two miles in front of you. So again take it easy outside now looking at that future cast out there we have some showers and storms but that's going to occur later on in the afternoon that's going to be that popcorn variety and then we're going to have that possibility in for tuesday and wednesday so again if you see it it's going to be like slash and dash out there so just be mindful of that now looking at the nation's high temperatures today 89 with some thunderstorms down for New Orleans. We'll have uh, mostly sunny skies, 95 for Dallas and Laredo, Texas, 106 with mostly cloudy skies out there. Yikes. Now looking at the chances for the rain ahead here each day, anywhere from 20 to 30 percent each and every day. Looking at the river stage, we finally have some progress. We're down to 39.9 feet, so we're below flood stage. Excellent news. Now looking at that forecast, we have patchy morning fog. Then we'll have some sun and also an isolated thunder shower for some, 92 degrees. And then tonight, patchy clouds. It will be humid, 73. And then for tomorrow, we'll have partly cloudy skies. We have a chance for a thunder shower, 94 degrees. And then for that seven day forecast, our temperatures will be in the mid 90s, but you have to factor in that that heat index is going to be ooh, it's going to be brutal this week and we also have chances for isolated and scattered thunder showers each and every day. So can we say we're going to have our triple H's out on today? Yep. <laughs> hot, hazy, humid. For those of you who don't know, that's what Karen constantly Hazy, says. hot, and humid. Yes, it is definitely going to be that way. And also concerning um, the rain now, is it, is it going to be too much like flooding, do you think? Or do you no, know No, I think if anything, okay. the showers are going to be that popcorn variety. It might be one or two heavy showers, mm -hmm. but for the most part, okay. they're not going to be kind of like lingering in places. It's going to be like quick pop-up type. Mm. Now, Karen, how was your weekend? I had a good weekend. Really? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, me too. I had a good weekend, but only to arrive on today to find out kids are back in school. Now, we don't ever get a chance to see the school buses, but I know so many people out there are probably like, wow, school time? Yes, so many kids. 
and just throughout the state are going back on this week. So we do wish them best just seeing Karen's bus forecast brought me back. But <laughs> now to this, Karen, we're going to lighten things up a little bit. My favorite group of sport fans, you already know, Karen, I love Major League Baseball fans. Oh, boy, and that, here means, that means is bloopers. <laughs> bloopers. Bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. There's no limits when it comes to catching a foul ball, as we all know. Well, a recent game, one Rangers fan catches the ball <gasps> ball and a helmet of nachos and knocks them on a fan. I mean, just some of the things I see are just unreal. Look at the fan. It's just so. <laughs> Look, he didn't even say I'm sorry. No, he didn't. Just Oh, he got cheese on him. And he doesn't even try to wipe it off. Oh. I mean, oh, The nachos, God. what a waste. Look at the coach. The coach is me watching this. <laughs> so, like, what wow, is going what on? What is going on? <laughs> I don't understand why this keeps happening here. You know what? I man, oh man, he is wearing the cheese whiz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now allegedly, these two guys actually knew each other. A report says, but I think it's safe to say I don't think they're considered I, friends. This would throw a wrench in my friendship. I don't think they're friends anymore. Me. <laughs> Not if you waste those kind of nachos on me. But yes, Karen, I love those bloopers. <laughs> we will have more coming up on your Delta News on Fox after the break. <laughs>